Hello there and welcome to the channel. First and foremost, I must thank every new subscriber over the last few weeks. It's been brilliant to see the channel grow. So thank you ever so much uh, for that. And yes, today we are going to be doing a little bit more macro. We've had some atrocious weather of late as I bemoaned in the last episode as well. And it's continued. But this afternoon we have a little bit of bright sunshine and I have been out earlier and found some subjects so let's do a little bit of macro photography yeah so this is the first subject it's just some uh, daffodils but with the beautiful light that we're having uh, at the moment see when the sun comes uh, through it brightens them up uh, massively so I think that's what we're gonna do what I'm trying to focus on here is this one here with just a part of this particular one in the frame as well but I'm using a little trick as daffodils are quite tough to photograph because with a macro lens as you probably know your depth of field is really really shallow and from the outer part all the way back to the leaves back here it's quite quite deep and there's too much wind at the moment for me to be able to focus stack because it's just going to get uh, blurry so what I'm instead doing is I'm pulling the camera away from the flower and shooting at a wider <coughs> in a wider area in order to get as much of the uh, daffodil in focus as I possibly can. Let me show you a little bit in camera how this works. So I think my composition is going to be something like that, maybe a little bit lower to get them in or get the stem in focus. Something along these lines I think will look good. But you're going to pull the camera a little bit further out in order to ensure that both flowers will be in focus. This is a video, so it's getting confused about the focus here now. But <clears throat> there we are. So now it's focusing on the right flower, and then the crop is probably going to end up being something like this. We'll see the uh, end product. Right, so if this shot turned out any good, here it is. So I've come to this spot because down on the floor here there are loads of daffodils and I'm going to be really careful about where I step. And I thought, what is more springtime than daffodils, really? So I'm going to try and find one that looks really good, and then we'll talk about it. So I'm just trying now to see if I can find a one that looks quite good. So yeah, I think... I have one here, you probably can't see, so let me put you in camera here. So a lot of times when we shoot flowers we tend to get them from above and the result can be quite uh, nice but I thought for this one that I'd try a slightly different angle. So if I go for something like this then it's a bit lower and I think it gives it a bit more sort of immediate impact if I do it from this angle so let's see how this turned out The more you do one thing, 
the better you get at it and in this case using your eyes so I've been looking for subjects and I'm starting to train myself to look for certain types of subjects now come across these buds here you won't be able to see them quite yet but I'll bring you in camera because they have quite an interesting pattern to them so I'm going to see if I can get a shot of these there's quite a bit of wind right now but it looks like it's brightening up again we have very scattered clouds today with some very very dark ones so hopefully it brightens up a little bit and we can get a shot or two of uh, these little buds so i think i've found a good subject here this one is sort of nestled in between the leaves that it's coming out of so it's clearly going to be a flower at least i hope so i'm not a big expert on uh, flowers but anyway i do like the shape of this thing though and the individual little green leaves that have been sort of cut into these almost diamond shapes of uh, of this bud what a very interesting uh, plant this is they're, they're very very interesting so if the picture turned out any good here it is now I do like these buds that's coming out on this tree. The thing and the tricky part is to try and find one that looks somewhat photogenic because or photogenic because a lot of them have got brown bits on the leaves and I'm not sure if I can find one so bear with me for a minute and I'll see what I can find and spare you the tedium of doing this I think this one might work out okay but it's a bit troublesome because there is way too much grey in the background so I think I'm gonna have to move the camera around a little bit something along these lines I think is going to work yeah I kind of like that I need to go a little bit closer I think but I think this will work so yeah I think I found a pretty decent uh, composition here because you got the leaves reaching up <clears throat> and then the seeds inside so it looks kind of like a hand offering the seeds so if the picture turned out any good here it is well as you can see around me spring is starting to turn into proper spring the fruit trees are starting to spring their leaves and their flowers and i think this is going to be a plum tree eventually and the hope of summer is coming so it's been really good fun to go around and try and find some subjects i'm really disappointed i didn't get to photograph the white crocus because they're quite nice because they got these uh, stems inside the uh, the actual the seed pods and the bright orange that complements the white so well and, and they're absolutely delightful but maybe another day we'll see and i'm also hoping to find some purple crocus in the same area but i did find that very very interesting seed pod so all is definitely not lost i hope you've enjoyed the uh, images and if you like the video please hit that like button it helps so much it's the best thing you can do to support the channel and if you want to subscribe that would be fantastic too but until next time take care of yourselves have lots of fun with your photography bye for now <laughs>